Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel Pretty in Paper by B where we are all about sharing the joy of pretty papers. Now for the video today I've chosen to do a card making tutorial but this time something festive. I thought we'd do an iris folding snowman design just like this one I made earlier to show you all. So my design today is still suitable for beginners so all you need to do is gather your supplies, get comfy and let's get crafting. So here we are guys, as you can see I've got all my craft supplies out ready to make our very own snowman iris folding greetings card. Now just a reminder, everything you need is in the box down below. So make sure you've got all your craft supplies out ready and you can craft along too. As you can see, I've chosen a pearlized sapphire blue for my base card and four white pretty papers to use in the folding and then this nice shiny silver to use as the iris. Whatever colours you choose will be fine, this is just my personal preference. Okay, so let's begin. The first thing you'll need to do is to cut up the PDF download that is also in the box down below. The first piece you'll need is this snowman template. Now I've designed this to help you make sure that your snowman silhouette is centralised to the front of your card. So what you'll need to do is place it over to the left hand side of your card lining up the edges of the template to the card. When you've done that grab a pencil and I want you to trace the outline of the snowman gently pressing into the card to give you a nice indent and this will give us a guide to follow when we're cutting out the snowman. And there we go. You won't need your template anymore so you can put this to one side. As you can see, there should be a slight indentation mark into the card and this will be what you use to give you a guide when cutting out the snowman. Now what you'll need next is a cutting mat and a craft knife. Place your cutting mat underneath your card and this will help protect your table or the surface you are working on. You'll also need a craft knife. Now please take care when using a craft knife as blades can be sharp. It's important to make sure you have a sharp blade and this will make the clean cut into your card. But also remember to keep your hand behind the cut as to avoid any accidental injuries. You may also find it easier to turn the card as you are cutting to help you get the right shapes and angles into your snowman. Once you've done that, you can push out your snowman silhouette. There we go. You may have any little extra bits that you might want to tidy up around the edges as it can be quite difficult to get a perfect round cut first time. So there we are. After that, you can move your cutting mat to the side and you'll put your craft knife away as you won't need this anymore. Now for the next bit, you will need your snowman pattern. Now you want to lightly blue tack this to the table to prevent it moving during your folding. After that, you'll need a little bit more blue tack 
to lightly stick your card over the top of the silhouette so you can see the lines through and this is your guide for the folding there we go so we are almost ready to begin with our iris folding the only thing we need to do is to cut our paper strips now to do this you'll need your four chosen pretty papers as you can see here i've chosen two textured white papers a pearlized white paper and then this star, shiny star paper here now you can cut your paper strips with a pair of scissors or if you do have one you can use a mini paper cutter like this one here I prefer to use these as it helps get a nice, straight, clean cut. However, scissors also work fine. strips of each paper that'll be plenty don't worry about any frayed edging on the paper as the only lines you will see are the folded ones so any frayed edges just leave them not important now once you've got your strips of paper cut out you'll want to place these around your design to do so, grab your pattern guide and decide which papers are going to be A, B, C and D. Now for me, I'm going to choose to put my pearlized paper as paper A at the top of the design. I'm going to put my star paper as paper B at the bottom. And then I think this textured white as paper C. On the right here and this linen white as paper D on the left. Placing your papers around your design helps you keep track of what papers are where. This is particularly helpful if you're using papers that are the same colour. Now just before we can begin you'll need to fold your strips of paper. So take your first strip and fold over one of the edges by about 0.7 millimeters should be fine it's just enough to give you a nice crisp clean edge as this is the side of the fold that you will see in your designs so do this for each of your paper strips Once you've done that, you can begin placing your strips. Now to do this, take your strip paper A and following your pattern guide, place your strips along the numbers. So to start with, I'm going to cut a strip big enough to cover fold number one. Place over the top with the folded edge along the line on the pattern and use sticky tape to stick down each end of your paper strip. Now for your second strip, in this case, it is the same paper. So make sure to pay attention to your pattern guide to know which paper to use next. So again, for fold number two, I'm gonna hold this above the fold to make sure I cut a strip big enough. Place the folded edge along the line and use sticky tape to cover both ends. When you're placing your sticky tape, make sure that your tape does not overlap into your silhouette of your snowman, as you will be able to see this on the other side. For fold number three, it's paper B. So in this case, my star. So I'll hold it over the folds and cut a strip big enough to cover. Again, 
keeping the folded edge along the line of the pattern and using the sticky tape to hold the piece of paper in place. Now after that, you can continue placing your paper strips around your pattern, following your pattern guide, taking care to pay attention to when to change your paper. Just a tip, when using patterned papers, you might want to check where the pattern is on the other side of the strip, as this is what you'll be able to see in your design. So in my case here, I want to make sure that the stars are visible in the small fold on the design. So I cut a strip accordingly. So I think we're just about done with all our folding there. Now, the last bit that you need to do is to cut a hole of your shiny card, piece of your shiny card large enough to cover the hole in the center of your design. So in my case, I've chosen this nice glittery silver, which I thought would tie in nicely with the silver in my star paper. So there we go, I've cut a little square big enough to cover the hole in the middle. Just use a bit of sticky tape to stick it down. Perfect. Now your leftover strips, it's up to you, but I hold on to them as you can use them in future designs. So just put them onto one side. Great, so you can now turn over the exciting bit to have a look at your design. So there we are, an iris folding snowman. Now to finish your card, you have a couple of stages left to do. You need to cover your messy back. Now to do this, you'll need to fold your card in half. Now you can just simply fold your card in half. Or if you have a scoreboard handy, this can create a nicer fold in your card. And there you go. Now to cover the messy back, you will need your piece 
of A5 paper that you chose. In my case, I've chosen the linen white I used on the front of the card as I thought this would tie in nicely with the design. Now, before you stick this down, I tend to cut it down a little bit smaller than the card so that on the inside, you end up with a nice border of your base card colour. Now, again, to do this, you can use your scissors or you can use the mini paper cutter if you have one. Once you've done this, fold your piece of paper in half. Now, if you have double-sided tape handy, this is the best for sticking your insert down. However, if you don't, a glue stick can also work okay. So grab your tape and I want you to put some tape around the outline of one half of your folded piece of paper. Now before you stick your insert down over the back of your design, you'll need to peel the tape. Now a little trick to make sure your iris, your iris, your insert is lined up correctly, is peel the strip along the folded edge and on the short edges, peel them halfway and fold the back outwards. And get this last one. There we go. And then on your other long edge, you can peel this completely off too. So if you turn your card with the folded edge horizontal and line up the folded edge of your paper, you can get this central before you peel off the rest of the double sided tape. There you go. Just open it up and holding down you can peel off the rest of the tape to make sure your edges are nice and straight. And there you go, you have covered the insert. So you've got a nice insert and you've also covered the back of your messy design. There you go. Now for this next bit, it is completely up to you how you finish your card. You can add some snow to the bottom, a hat or a little carrot for his nose, a greetings, it is entirely up to you. On the card I made earlier, I chose to add some snowflakes, a hat, some arms, some snow and a little Merry Christmas along the bottom. However, entirely up to you how you finish your card. For me, the iris folding is the main attraction and therefore I don't always like to add too much. But today, I think for this card, I'm gonna add some snowflakes with my snowflake punch. So let's do that now. And also maybe some snow across the bottom.
I want to keep this card quite simple. So I'm not going to add too much detail to the snowman this time. But I do still think he'd look quite cute with a hat. So let's do that. got a bit of character I think to finish it off I'm just gonna add a little greetings at the bottom so for greetings I actually quite like using peel offs so they've got a bit of a shimmer to them but I think for this card I'll use these Merry Christmas greetings now I think these are supposed to be borders but actually just as individual greetings they look quite nice I use these on some of my bauble cards if you've seen them before. And there you have it, your very own Iris Folden Snowman Greetings card. Thank you for watching my Iris Folden card making tutorial where we made our very own snowman Iris Folden greetings cards. Perfect for this festive occasion. Don't forget to leave a comment below and give me a big thumbs up if you liked it. Also, subscribe to me for more videos on card making tutorials, crafting tips and pretty papers. See you next time. Crafting love, babe.